Okay, like I said, topic topic two five is just a review of of multiplying polynomials and uh, polynomials together. Now, I'm going to do half of these first couple using foil, and I'm going to do half of them using the box. Like I said, it doesn't matter, you know, which one you choose, but I want to make sure you know how to do both of them. Now. These are all, we're multiplying what times what? We're multiplying what types of polynomials? These are what? Binomials. Okay, now, on the first one, let's use uh, FOIL. Okay, the F stands for what? FERT. Well, let me just go ahead and write it. Okay, F stands for first. Multiply the first terms together. B times B. What is B times B? B squared. B squared. O stands for outside. What am I multiplying together? What's on the outside? Six times B. What is six times B? So plus six B. Inside. What am I multiplying together? What's on the inside? B and negative four. That's what? Negative 4B, very good. And L stands for? I didn't forget to sign it. You didn't give it to him. I called you for you walked away. All right, have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, what? Okay, last. What's negative 4 times 6? Guys, okay. what's negative 4 times 6? Negative 24. Now, like I said, eventually you'll be able to do this step right here in your head. Okay, but for right now, I'd go ahead and write it out, then combine like terms. And the like terms are in the middle. What is negative, or what is 6b minus 4b? 2b. 2b, very good. So we have b squared plus 2b minus 24. We good there? Number two, I'm going to use the box. Okay, binomial, so I have a two by two box. Okay, what am I going to put on top? Y and a two, right? Down the side? Y and a negative two. Does it really matter which one I put on top? No. Okay. Y times Y? Y squared. Y times negative 2? Two? Negative 2Y. Two, two, two times Y? 2Y. Two two and 2 times negative 2? Negative 4. Four. Four. Now, when we combine like terms, what happens to my Y's? They cancel. They're gone. That's 0. So what's left? Y squared, y squared. Minus, four. minus 4. Very good, Anthony. Oh, yeah. Okay. Number 3. Use, use FOIL. First, what do I get? X squared. X squared. Outside. X, seven, X. So plus 7X. Inside. It's only easier when you don't have negatives. Inside. What's that? 5X. 5X. And last. Three, Multiply those together. Close. 35. 35, thank you very much. Okay, now, combine like terms. We have x squared. What's 7x plus 5x? 8, 9, 10, 11. What's 7x plus 5x? 12. Thank you very much. So plus 12x. Okay, plus 35. Okay. Number four, I'll use the box. Once again, it's a two by two or a binomial times a binomial. What am I putting on top? D and a two, and then down the side, a D and a negative five. D times D? 
B squared, B times negative 5. D times negative 5. Oh. Negative 5D. Negative 5D, thank you very much. 2 times D. 2D. 2 times D. 2D. Oh. 2D. And then 2 times negative 5. Negative 10, thank you. Oh, that's exactly. Okay. So now combine my like terms. I have D squared. How many D's? <laughs> How many D's do I have? Two. Oh, no, you don't. You have like um, three. negative three D. Negative three D. Oh, my God. Plus, or excuse me, and what's left? Negative 10. Very good. Oh, yeah. That was funny. Okay, and the last one. Okay. Once again, FOIL. First, what do I get? Scott. Okay. First, what do, multiply those together. M squared. Good. Outside. Negative 2m, good. Inside. Negative 6m. And last. Negative times a negative is a? 8. Positive. What's 6 times 2? 12. Okay, now combine like terms. I have m squared. What's that? Now combine them. Negative, negative 8m. Uh, then what's left? Plus 12. Plus 12. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, like I said, if you're comfortable with the box method, do the box method. It'll work on binomials and trinomials or whatever you're multiplying together. Now, on 6, I have a number or a letter, a number and a letter in this case, outside of parentheses. What does that tell me I have to do to simplify? Distribute. Distribute. Okay. So 3R times R squared. What does that give me? Not? Gives me 3R. How many R's? Two there, one there. That's R to the third. Or R cubed. Okay. Now 3R times negative 2R. First, what is 3 times negative 2? Negative six. How many R's? To the second power. R squared. Now three R times four. What's what's three times four? So plus twelve. Twelve what? Twelve R. Very good. Now can we can we combine these and add them together? Can we? No. They're not like terms. Okay, number seven. This is a review over our exponent rules. Okay, we're just multiplying like bases together, so we add our exponents. But now let's take care of the coefficients first. What is negative four times five? Negative 20. Now the first like base is C. If I have three there and one there, how many total? C to the fourth, good. D to the, how many D's? D squared, very good. Okay, on number eight, I will refresh your memory about something. PEMDOS. Okay, now. The P stands for parentheses. Is there anything I can do inside the parentheses? Is there? There's something. What can you do? Can you add, subtract? Is there any work to be done inside the parentheses? No. What's after the P? What does that, that stand for? Exponents. So we're raising powers to another power. First of all, raise the coefficient to the power. What is 3 squared? Nine. When we're raising a power to a power, we don't add the exponents. We what? 
When we're raising a power to a power, we multiply. Very good. So now that would be x. What's 2 times 1? 2 times 1? 2. So x squared. How many y's? How many y's would I have? Y to the fourth. Very good. Now we have to do the multiplication. We have to multiply it by 7. What's 7 times 9? 63. 63. X squared. Y to the 4. Okay. Good. Number 9. Now, I will stress this for today and I will stress this for our test. Pay attention to what operation is going on. Okay, what operation are we doing in 9? What's the operation? Adding. Adding. Does anything happen to the exponents? Uh -huh. No. So we have 8 to the 3rd plus 8 to the 3rd. What is 8 to the 3rd plus 8 to the 3rd? 2a to the 3rd power. You have 1a to the 3rd plus 1a to the 3rd is 2a's to the 3rd power. Now, what operation are we doing on 10? Multiplying. Multiplying. Are the exponents going to change? Yes. What do we do with the exponents? Add them. Add them. So a to the third times a to the third is a to the six. six. What operation are we doing on 11? Adding. Adding. Okay. What is 2k squared plus k? It's a trick question. I'll give you a hint. It's 2k squared plus k. Can we combine them? We can combine them? No. Why can we not combine them? Why can we not add them together? They're not like terms. Those aren't like terms. We can't add them together. It's already answered. Now, what operation are we doing on 12? Multiplying. So 2 times 1 is what? Two, how many k's? K to the two plus one is three. Two k cubed. Okay, on number thirteen, what are we multiplying together? Two what? What are those called? Two terms. Binomials. Okay, do y'all want to do the box method or full? Box method? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. All right, up top, I'm going to have a 3x and a negative 2. Down the side, I'm going to have an x and a negative 5. What's 3x times x? Um, no. 3x squared. What's 3x times negative 5? Negative 15 what? X. x. Very good. Negative 2 times x? Negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 5? 10. Combine like terms. We have 3x squared. What's negative 15 minus 2 more? Negative 17x plus... 10. Okay, and the last one. Okay, we have a binomial times a trinomial. Okay, so we'll have two columns up top and how many down the side? Three. There's my binomial and then a trinomial. Okay, so up top, I'll have a 2x and a negative 1. Down the side, I have 2x squared minus 3x and a positive 1. We good setting this up? Yes. Okay, let's do the multiplication. Okay, 
2x times 2x squared. What's 2 times 2? 4x cubed. 4x to the third power. Very good. Now 2x times negative 3x. Negative 6x squared. Very good. And 2x times 1? 2x. 2x. Okay. Now we go over to negative 1. Negative 1 times 2x squared? X. Negative x squared. Negative what? Negative 2x squared. Negative 2x squared. Why? Oh, multiply. Yeah. Now negative 1 times negative 3x. Negative times a negative is a positive, positive 3x. And then negative 1 times 1. No, times negative 1. Very good. Okay, start with the largest exponent. Okay, how many x, x cubes do we have? Okay, good, 4x cubed. Combine the x squared. Okay, negative 6 minus 2 more. How many? Negative 8x eight. Eight squared. Combine the x's. 3x plus 2x is? So plus 5x. And then minus 1. Bueno? Good.